Friends, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract. Let us observe the management of this case. The main incision has been placed on the posterior aspect of the limbus. You can see some oozing of blood and this is good. The healing becomes firmer and faster if there is some oozing of blood. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. Now capsular excess is to be done. The anterior capsule is incised with a 26 gauge band needle and a nice flap is raised. Now I hold this capsular flap with a uterta forceps go anticlockwise all around remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus I perform a nice 5 millimeter rexus. And now hydro dissection. BSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim. It goes to the opposite equator. Hydro delineation is also done. Hydro delineation has produced a beautiful golden ring in this case. And some more hydro has prolapsed on equator out of the capsular bag. I didn't try to push this equator back into the capsular bag. I just want to manage it like this. In this case, since the nucleus is soft, I decided to manage it single-handedly and just watch the bevel. Sometimes it is sideways, sometimes it is towards the posterior capsule and sometimes up and in no time the lens mass is gobbled. So the nucleus is managed and now the cortical cleanup is to be done. In this case the cortex is being removed with the help of a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. You can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration for a removal of the cortical matter. The sub incisional cortex is removed going through the side ports. There are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule that is gently removed by the Simco itself. That's it. The posterior capsule is clean and now a full level intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the anterior chamber formed by irrigating BSS. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag by a gentle push of the irrigating probe. Some more irrigation of the anterior chamber is done because there are some visco in the lumen of the cartridge and that should come out. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are hydrated to make these wounds watertight. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. This is very important. The anterior chamber should be nicely lavaged at the end and there should be only pure BSS, no particle nothing in the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber should look clean. With this technique I am doing surgeries for the last 20 years and my end off rate is 1 in 13,000. The key is all the wounds should be tightly closed and the IOP should be on the higher side. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a better surgeon and do very good service to the mankind.